What's up guys, we are me here and today we are going to make a basic elevator in Unreal Engine 4. So let's begin. So first I will cre create a new folder for it with name elevator. Uh, we need to create a new blueprint, I will call it Elevator. You need to choose the Actor class. Then open the blueprint. Add the new static mesh. No, not a static mesh, but a cube. Choose Movable at the Transform menu. You need to scale it down a little bit to get a better shape. Mm, that's still not enough. We need a little bit thinner like this. After that we need to add the box collision, move it to the right place and connect it to the cube. I will scale it down a little bit. Now open the graph menu. First add the E key input and the Q key input. We need to add two branches with Alt plus V combo, W combo. You can duplicate the selected item. After that, promote uh, the first to a variable. Rename it to move. We will need this later. We need to add a new timeline. Call it the way you want. I will call it moving. Connect the play with the false option and the reverse with the other false option. Now open the timeline and add the new flow track. Add a new key and change the time and the value to zero. Now add another key and change the time to 2 and the value to 1. Now go back to the event graph and add the new, new action called set moving. This is the variable that we added in the beginning. Change its value to, value to true. Now duplicate it, but let it on false. And connect it to the finished option. Create a LARP vector. Connect it with timelines alpha. Promote the A and the B section to variables and rename them to start and end location. Create a new, set relative location and pick the cubes option. Connect the upper set and the LARP to the set allocation. Now at the end location change the Z to any coordinate. That will be the elevator's high. Mine will be 200 for example. 
So we have now the elevator blueprint. Don't forget to save. But we still can't activate the elevator in game. We need to create the input part for this elevator. So right click on the box, add the event, add on component begin overlap. Uh, again right click, add the event, add on component and overlap. Get actions taking the actor reference, write their cast to and your character's name. So my is first person character. Do the same with the end overlap. Connect an enable input to the caster and the disable input to the other caster. Get the player controller and reconnect it to the right place. And fin we finish the input part. I like to create a comment to this section that I don't forget what it is good for. Don't forget to save. And our elevator is working. GG guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.